This video is uh, for those who want to download or uh, back up, I should say, their loops from the Jamman Solo XT. Doesn't matter where it's set, I have it hooked up via USB. Uh, but just on these settings, uh, you know, the one, two, three, those are the internal loops. And then if you go backwards, if you have an external loop card, if you have a memory card put in, you'll see these additional loops that, that you can access, access by going backwards. Um, they have a, a USB cable with the Jam Man. It's not micro USB. It kind of looks like it, but it's, uh, and I don't think it's proprietary. I think I've seen that kind with uh, various cameras. I'm trying to get it back in there. Um, anyway. So you go to uh, Digitech, they, in the manual they say they have software that allows you to do this and uh, at digitech.com and, and if you go there, uh, they, in the manual it talks about librarian software. There's no librarian software at digitech.com. Uh, you have to search for software in general and you'll find, or find, there's probably a menu item for software, and uh, you'll find Jam Manager XT software. I click that, it opens up. I, I've already downloaded it, and so it's now on my computer. And it's taking a while to connect to the device. Uh, that's important to note because just connecting your device to the computer, it will not show up in your list of hard drives until you open this software. Oh, I don't want to shake this thing. I'm going to be shaking, being too shaky here. This says there's no new updates available. Uh, very unfortunate. They needed to update this software. The older software was a little easier. There's a guy on YouTube showing the older software. Talks about an export button. And uh, anyway, so you won't. See, what I just had up there was from an old job I was doing. What you will see when you open it is this. And I, the old software had an export button up here where you could select a file. Well, I don't have any here that have anything on them. The internal or external, I should say, loops. I've got them down at 200, so all I have to do is go backwards from one to find them. And uh, I think I want 182. I'm going to, that's one I'd like to back up. I was saying the older software had an export button. You would just select that and you could export it up here. And you see a couple arrows, but they're not clickable. None of this is only a couple things are clickable, and none of it's export. What does this sound like? Okay, so it's a little rhythm track. And uh, that's great. That's a, that's a loop that I have. And I'd like to save it. Um, the only thing that's... You are able to click this thing. This guy... Well, I guess there's a... What is this one? Add new... Oh, this is if you want to put that... Uh, reorganize the way your songs are on the jamming. But this is what you have to do to, this is step one if you want to back it up. Hit synchronize button. I don't want to synchronize anything on the internal card. I do want to synchronize on the external. Now you'll notice I have more on the external uh, outside here that if, I don't know if you saw before, and it only shows three of them. Well, these are ones I haven't, uh, I haven't uh, backed up yet. Okay, now this is create a new jam list. I don't want that. I just want to back this loop up. So I'm still in the process of synchronizing. This is a, asking me what file do I want to synchronize. Synchronize library. What do I want to synchronize? Well, I want it at 182. It's going to take a moment to do that. Uh, the file, I don't know, maybe it was one and a half minutes long. It won't take one and a half minutes to synchronize. It'll take a little less than that. But um, it does take a, a moment to do that. And uh, once, once that's done, we'll uh, see if we can export it. Okay. Yeah, it's a 1, and 40, 1 minute 46 second file. You look up here, you still don't have the export button. You still have, you have the synchronize, you have cut. What is this thing? Copy. Yeah, you get very frustrated. What is this guy? Options. Oh, I hit that, and that opens up a, a window on the right. Doesn't do you any good. Take it out. You're, you're still you're trying to export that that loop, and there's no export button. 
Well, I fished around. I found it here under View. If you do Restore Default Layout, this has all the files that I am now eligible to export. And 182 is the one I wanted to export. So I'm going to select that one. You can select more. It's just going to say, well, we're only going to do one at a time. I think that's this is the place that said that. Oh, but now we do have an export button. In Add to Library, Export Loop. I don't know what Add to Library means right now. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about exporting the loop. And uh, I'm going to put it in a folder called Loops for Jam Man Solo. Uh, that was a rhythm for Hawaii Five O. I'm just going to call it Hawaii right now to save, spare us the time to put it all in. Okay, instantly it's done. If I go down here and I look for Jam Man Loops. If I open this up, this is now on the hard drive. And so that, that's now in there. And I do have it backed up. So I'm in good shape now. I can close this all down. I can put the jam man back on the pedal board. And uh, I, uh, I'm doing this for my own benefit because I know I'll forget how to do it. And I'm going to post it to YouTube and uh, it may help other folks trying to do this. I imagine it will.